All right. We're here. Welcome to the Latin Breed one on one series. This is uh, edition number one. First, first and foremost, we get to our lead trumpeter. Uh, I'd like to introduce Mr. Steve Sanchez that we have today with us. My name is Ben Miranda. I'm the lead vocalist for the Latin Breed. And what we're doing here is trying to reach out and, and uh, shed a little bit of light on the guys in the band. And, and uh, of course, I'm the new guy, so it's helping me out too. I get to learn a little bit more about these guys that, I, that I'm on the road with when we're, when we're, when we're gigging. So uh, we'll just take a little bit of time here to uh, talk to Steve and get to know him a little bit better. <clears throat> and of course, we'll be doing this with all the guys. So if you're watching this on social media, make sure you guys give us a like and share if you want. And of course, keep tuning back in for some more episodes. So, all right, Steve, how you doing? <laughs> Good, buddy. Listen, uh, to all the OB fans, thanks so much for all these years of support. And, you know, Tejano music fans as well, you know, the whole thing too. So, uh, you know, I, I did want to say too, you know, for Ben, you know, welcome, you know, to LB, our LB family. Uh, in Spanish, I'm going to say this about Ben, me tumbo la corona. Because I used to be the baby of the group. And then he comes in and he's the baby of the group. And all I'm going to tell you is that I'm a 60s kid, right? You know, so I grew up in the 70s and 80s. And then here comes, you know, you're, you're, you're el bebito, man. I was, yeah, I'm the baby. How old are you? Pues orale 54. Oh, you're the baby. And, you're, and then Ben comes in, orale in the 40. No, hombre, callate la boca. So, yeah, Ben, so welcome, man. I mean, so exciting to have you, man, and and, and have, have this new, uh, you know, because we're in, in, in such a, a new normal right with everything that's happened right um and then somebody young like you that that that's you know good and savvy with uh technology too right versus some of us older guys you know we we uh you know we may not know the social media stuff that you do and platforms to use and whatnot so uh but 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 yeah my name is steve sanchez i've been with breed uh the latin breed as their lead trumpet uh really uh, playing alongside Frank and Donald, the guys, you know, about 20 years, probably a little over 20 years. But then for the last about 12, right, I, I've been basic, I've been their lead guy, uh, you know, that long uh, with, with, uh, with, with the guys. And, and so I've been so privileged and, and I, I feel so humbled. Uh, I grew up in a little town south of uh, San Antonio, south of of San Antonio called Asherton. And, and it's a little bitty town of about 1,700 people. Uh, it, yeah, and, and it be, exactly. So they call it Cheto. Uh, and, and so, you know, from my humble beginnings as a, as a you know, a little boy, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just so humbled that um, I grew up listening to Latin Reed. You know, you know, I was born in 1966. So my dad is a tenor sax player, right? Retired uh, special ed teacher. Him and his, his twin brother, what is right? They both played saxophone. My tío played uh, alto and, uh, you know, still plays it. And my dad, you know, uh, stopped playing probably like late 70s, early 80s, uh, played tenor sax. What is that? Pesados. Really good. So, you know, we, we uh, you know, for it, it, about when I was about seven years old, six years old, we moved to Kingsville. And so my dad uh, was playing with a local group in Kingsville when he was at Texas A&I uh, in Kingsville. Uh, that's our alma mater. Uh, he played with Beto Leal, his orchestra. A lot of people that know Beto Leal in the coastal band area know Beto Leal, you know, it's a, a big deal, right? So just kind of giving a background on me. So, you know, I, I grew up, right, with, with my, uh, you know, my, my dad, my tios, you know, that were, you know, they were going to college. We used to drive to Loyola Beach like on the weekends and on the way over, you know, you, you know, you, you know, Mike, Mike, uh, I'm trying to remember Mike's last name from Corpus, um, but he, he had a Chavez, Mike Chavez, I uh, had a radio show. And of course, what do you hear on the radio? Latin breed, man. Uh, mm -hmm. I remember that I always wanted to find, I was, I was that kid that wanted to dial in the radios and, and, and listen, Ben, everything's digital now. Back then, <laughs> There was this little black knobs, man, that you had to, like, you, you move the <laughs> dial and you had to pull it to set it, right? And it's really <laughs> freaky, right? But, you know, that was kind of the, 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 the norm. So growing up with all of this music, uh, I know that, you know, in, in a lot of the gigs that I've done with Greed, sometimes I know that, you know, Frank and the guys have been surprised that you've heard this song. And like, yeah, dude, I grew up with this song. I mean, all of this stuff, that, there's hardly anything, there, seriously, hardly anything that I don't uh, know that Landry recorded, you know? So, uh, but yeah, that's, you know, I, I grew up in, in Asherton, people know it as Cheto. Uh, I've lived in Crystal City now for about, you know, maybe 12, you know, 14 years now. That's my home now, uh, my beautiful wife, Becky. I have five beautiful children, uh, Trisha, uh, Stevie, 
uh, Katrina, my Josue, and, and, and my little Chiquita Cadence, you know, from, from 29 to 11. That's the spread. Wow. <laughs> that's a, that's that's a, a big that mix of ages. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, but it's, it's just, you know, the, my, my background as far as that, um, you know, my dad's oldest brother, in Pazes Canse, mi tío Sige, you know, he, um, he was a keyboard player. He was an Austin tuba player in Asherton way back. Uh, but he was also a composer, good singer. And from there, he taught his little brothers, right? And so he was the oldest. And so that's how my tío, uh, uh, my tío Tony, Uncle Tony, lives in San Antonio. Um, you know, they, they learn. And, and then my dad, Ramon, my, my dad's first name's Ramon. My name's Ramon Esteban, right? And, but I, I go by Steve uh, Sanchez. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, and then... Um, uh, their 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 younger brother Mitiolito Liasar, you know, also man, you talk about, you know, the 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 ears that they have, right? So that's what I grew up with, you know. My my abuelita Ustolia, my grandma, uh, had a little lunch stand, you know, in Asherton, La Pianola, you know, they always had a pianola outside, you know, back in those days where, you know, it, it was just, you know, the 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 music scene was so different uh, than than now, right? You know, there's we're trying to sort of uh, find a way to revitalize and re reinvigorate the energy, right? Bring it back, because uh, it's still good. And, you know, and, and uh, Latin Reed is one of those groups that brings back so, so much nostalgia. Uh, and, you know, as, as, a, as, as a music instructor for a music appreciation course, I teach some history and how the brain works with music. And I tell, I, I tell people, look, when we talk about nostalgia, music is the one that makes the impact because, you know, music is what takes you back to where you were. You, you always go back to that playlist or that song that you say, Ejo, I remember I was here, I'm in the pasita here, or I was six years old and my tío did this or my mom did this, you know, kind of thing. So, uh, but that's that's kind of our thing. Uh, in my family, my wife's a drummer. Uh, you know, she's an instructional leader in the, yeah. the district here in Carrizo Spring, but she plays drums, heck of a twirler okay. and dancer, very talented and gifted. Uh, my oldest daughter is an all state trumpet player. Uh, my son is an amazing percussionist and, and got the March Drum Corps. Um, my, uh, my Katrina is, is a clarinetist, uh, honors band in the Valley, uh, and my son alto sax and in La Chiquita, she says she wants to be a drummer, right? So, you know, yeah, very, you know, my, my kiddos, everyone says, well, you forced your kids in music. No, actually i never have, but <laughs> they love it, man. They love it. In fact, uh, my oldest, uh, Trisha, she's a counselor for Gary Job Corps in Uvalde. My son is, is an assistant band director here with me, teaches music, percussion. Uh, my daughter just graduated as a mechanical engineer. She's working for HGB at the moment, but still trying to get on board for her engineering. And then my son um, is a uh, music ed major in, at, at Kingsville. It's called a and Kingsville now, right? And then of course my chiquita, she's a little fifth grader and you know, she's still got a ways to go. And, uh, and then myself, you know, having studied music, I'm sorry, uh, um, I got my master's back in 17 also under, you know, so my bachelor's is under Texas A&I University. My master's is under TAMUK or TAMUK, you know, depending on, on where you're from, A&M Kings. But anyway, I'm sorry, uh, you were going to say, Ben? No, I was just going to say, so basically what you're saying is that you're letting everybody know you have the next generation of the Latin breed already covered in your household. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, no kidding. Absolutely, man. And, and, and of course, people know if those that are familiar with Crystal City, I mean, there's, there's just so much musical talent there. And, uh, you know, here in Carrizo Springs and, and, and Asherton, I mean, it's just uh, an area that, you know, that I and we're so close to Uvalde, you know, because that's where the junior college is that I work at as well. You know, there's, you know, uh, you know, everybody knows those Palominos, whatnot. But anyway, but we're talking that breed right now. So, <laughs> well, you, know, you mentioned you mentioned just the music and it being nostalgic and and i think that's what you know that's one of the things i love about as i joined the band we're very blessed right because we get to share those memories with with the crowd and and everybody that comes out to the dances you know week after week uh we get to we get to experience those again with everybody and and, and yeah. we're blessed because the latin breed has so many nostalgic hits that take you back, like you said, that one song, oh, I remember that, oh, that's a good song too, oh, that's another good song. And so we're so blessed because we have so many of those hits in this band. Of course, you know, the, the band's been rocking since 1969. So, I mean, you know, they, they longevity is just something that uh, is synonymous with the band. So uh, I, I know that you feel the same way. And again, just, you know, from personal experience, I know a lot of uh, Steve's family, they're a very talented bunch, his cousins, his uncles, and 
and I've had uh, you know the honor to uh, to jam with those guys as well too. And just again, a very talented family. So you come from good stock, they say. <laughs> yes, sir. Thanks, man. You know something well, as you're saying that about nostalgia, you know too. Yeah. I, I think you 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 can uh, agree that you know when you and I are in, in in the van, you know that we're going to a gig just to hear the stories that oh, these man. guys share about their experiences. I mean, who yeah. else has the privilege of doing that, right? Other than <laughs> their close friends and family when they hang out. But, you know, here we are going all the way to Dallas or Arizona, uh, and, and we get the opportunity, you and I especially, to learn these stories. And, and you know, see, Dios quiere, you know, 20 years from now, who knows who's going to be around or whatnot. But, you know, the, the cool part about you and I is that, God willing, you know, we know those stories and we'll be able to continue the legacy and share those experiences and whatnot. Really cool, yeah. man. Really special. Yep. No, I agree, man. I agree. Well, let's let's change gears a little bit. So tell me about the, I know everybody's quarantined. We're doing, uh, you know, digital <laughs> meetings at this point and Zoom meetings, that kind of thing. Uh, so what have you been up to during the quarantine? You've been, I know, like I said, we really haven't been gigging or anything. So what have you been doing personally? Well, for me, I, I, you know, I still, I, I, I still get my axe out. You know, I'm still working. Uh, on, on my craft, uh, you know, you, you can never stop learning. Um, and, and it's something that I think even as long as I've played, uh, I, I'm still I'm still doing that, you know, I, more than anything else, I think what the quarantine is doing for so many of us, uh, you know, it, it kind of puts a strain on us, right? Because we're worried constantly that we step out of the house, uh, a simple trip to HEB, we could be exposed to someone, a, a simple necessary trip to even Walmart to get necessities. You know, you know what I mean? It's just one of those things where, you know, just too careful. But really for me, I've been lucky that I've been uh, able to still continue teaching, you know, through this through this platform, right, through Zoom. Uh, in fact, for my school, the, the, the high school uh, and junior high, uh, even intermediate, we do Google Meets, right, as well. So through the college, I go Zoom and through everything else, I'll do uh, Google Meets. And then, uh, you know, so really that's that's kind of, you know, been been the... The new normal, right? Everybody talks about the new normal. You know, uh, yeah. I'm a volunteer firefighter, so I just got a call today from my captain, gave him my birth date, so that uh, you know they're they're fixing to uh, schedule our vaccine, right? Oh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you know, so I'm looking forward. I I think I think that the vaccine is bringing some sense of normalcy to some of us and some some hopefully some security right that we're yeah. that, that i that we hope right that, that the vaccine hope. will protect us we still can't let up right we still have to yeah. wear our mask and whatnot but but that's kind of the same you know the 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 i mean i can tell you i mean this this little this this year i mean this is my trumpet everybody i mean this is you know i'm using a mouthpiece at this you know from one of the best manufacturers uh you know uh, david monette um uh, and uh, you know, for me, it, it's it's an it's an amazing experience that I've been playing the trumpet since I was 13 years old. So at the age of 54, that means that I've been playing my horn for like 41 years, <laughs> and I'm still I'm still working on my craft. And with a quarantine, has kind of bought me some time to be able to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, I, I've and and of course, you know, we're in the process. Also, we, my wife and I bought some some land. I've been clearing, knocking up some mesquite trees. We're gonna uh, uh, build a home there too, so I'm excited about that. Hopefully, yeah. in the next couple of months, we'll have something there. So we found That's a good. way to stay safe and busy. You know, yeah, gotta, gotta get preoccupied, man. I think that's probably the same for most of us musicians because we're always gone every weekend, and then now all of a sudden, like we're at home. And yeah. our, all of our wives have been putting us to work on home renovation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we turned it to Tim the Toolman Taylor over the, over uh -huh. the point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so tell me this then. What are you looking forward to the most uh, as we get back to normal? Like, uh, Is there one thing that, oh, man, I miss going here. I miss doing this. I mean, obviously, gigging is kind of, I know, probably for most of us. But for you personally, like, what are you looking forward to getting back to kind of normal? It, it, it wouldn't be right for me to say anything about the music part of it if I didn't say that you know I, I want I want to be able to visit my my mom and dad my 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 in-laws without any worries right because even though I see them very seldom I still communicate but I and then the fact that you know my my own kiddos and family that we could go somewhere uh, yeah. where we used to take advantage right that you know we oh, we'll go to the zoo tomorrow we put it off 
Well, now we're at that point where, gosh, man, we can't even do that at the moment. Yeah. So I, I'm anxious to be able to do the normal things of spending time with my family, having those really cool cookouts where, you know, either we go to my dad's house and, and, and in this little uh, man cave out in the back of his house, and you know, we can do the, the, the little lumbrita, you know, whatever in his pit yeah. and, you know, that kind of thing, right? And, and then, of course, you know, that's like first and foremost, right? And then, of course, you know, um, the next part, getting back on stage with with my brothers, man, you guys, man, because it's, you know, bringing, bringing back that sense of normalcy where we're going to go to a venue and we're going to see our audience there and, and, and bring back that energy again, man. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and hope that, that, um, you know, they'll maybe this, this next time around, they're going to appreciate it a little bit more, man. What, what, yeah. what we do, right. Because, um, I think before people would kind of just say, ah, no, you know, va tocar la brief, pero rato vamos. Well, now you're going to actually probably hopefully say, hey, man, we better go. We need yeah, to go check make it. out, man. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully you're right. Hopefully everybody will uh, appreciate a little bit more, you know, on both sides of the stage. Yes, so, Yes, sir. All right, well, cool. Well, one last question I have for you. Um, okay, so I know we talked a little bit about the band history and, and, and all the stories that we that we talk about when we're on the road. We won't get into all of those, but... What's your favorite band story that that you have that you're involved in, or what's your what's your kind of favorite? Could be funny, could be uh, sentimental, but what's your what's your kind of your favorite Latin breed memory for yourself? I'm gonna give you two, man, if it's okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. One of them was so we're we're in um, uh, in, in the bus, you know, going over to Arizona and coming back, man, the AC went out. <laughs> so it, all of a sudden, this became the hot tour. We're opening up windows. We're trying to watch a movie, and the freaking DVD, the DVD player goes out. So, so Cappy and I, Julian uh, Carrillo, Cappy and I, we open up the darn thing, man, and we're trying to fix it. So we never did, <laughs> right? So that's one of them. He was to, and 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 you know, of course, Lonnie was on that one, Andy Lelane, and oh yes, pasudar. Oh, this is all of us, man. We were just trying to <laughs> find ways to keep some ice and cool down and whatnot. I mean, that was an incredibly vicious trip. Uh, we had a great experience playing in Arizona, though. But or, or yeah, but it was great. But as the trip home, hijo, cállate la boca, man. And then and then one of the other ones, uh, because you know, for me, I know most of my music by heart, right? Uh, but we always have music, you know, that we put on the stage, you know, just in case on the stand, in case there's something maybe that they'll throw out that maybe I'm not too familiar with or whatnot. Well, I remember one time we showed up to a gig. And so Frank, you know, Frank's putting out the books and, well, there's no book for Trumpet One. Oh, so he's, he's looking at me, he's like, Steve, I forgot your book, man. <laughs> and I'm looking, at, I'm looking at Frank and what? And I said, and he's like, uh, hey, guys, I don't know. And I look at Frank and said, boss, okay, man, you know, just call him out. I look at yours and I, I what, are you serious, man? And sure enough, man, you know, you, next thing you know, man, we're done with the gig. And Frank's like, damn, boy, you, you got him done. So there you go. You know, that, that to me was something a bit scary. But I, you know, and I really, you know, even, even though, you know, for those that kind of say, you know, hey, well, you guys, you know, all these years and you're still using music. It's not so much that we're using it. it it's there just to make sure that what we're going to yeah. play for you, our audience, is done right. It's, it's got to yeah. it, it, yeah, exactly. So, uh, and, and for me, if you really pay attention and see, I don't, I'm not even looking at it. I'm, yeah, I was I'm, saying, I'm you don't the, use yours anyway. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, so I'm, I, you know, the, 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 one of my favorite things is like, I'm looking at the audience, I'll look at you, and I'll look at Richie. Richard, our drummer. I mean, that's to kind of make that connection to make sure as the lead trumpet, you know, that that we're all in sync and, and and the horns are following, and you know, that's just kind of what, what's expected, right? So yeah, but that no book, man. And then the <laughs> hardcore, man, he was too, man. But and we and we have plenty, plenty yeah, of yeah. Anyway, Those are good so, ones. Those are good ones, though. Those are good ones. You know, yeah, man. Muscle, muscle memory. See, yeah, muscle memory on the, on the, on the team. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, well, good stuff, Steve. Like I said, we're going to be doing these with other guys, so I appreciate you taking some time out of your day. And like I said, you're busy, and as you can see, he's he's in the thick of the job and and dedicated there to to educating the youngsters, and and then of course uh, sharing his musical talents with the Latin breed, of course, too. So. Uh, just uh, I want to say thank you for sharing some time, and like I said, we'll, uh, we'll look to do some more of these. I'm sure this won't be the last, and uh, it was definitely nice to get to know you a little bit more, and, and of course, uh, hopefully the, the viewers also uh, got, to, got to know a little something they didn't know about you from before. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to getting back with, with you and, and Donald, Charlie, 
Danny, Frank, Richard, Stanley, Julian. I mean, you know, it just, it's, it's amazing the bond that we have, man. And, you know, you being the youngest one, I think you're about what a year and a half in two years, muscle mental. Yeah. By two years. Yeah. It'll be about two years. And well, I guess if we get back, it'll be three. I'll just, I'll skip over a whole year just by sitting at home. <laughs> right. Right. Well, yeah, exactly. So, but what's really cool, uh, Ben is, is the chemistry, man. You know, the, 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 the chemistry that, that you bring in the fact that, you know, it, it, you just fit in, man. And, and I hope that this relationship with breed, you know, you and I, you know, we'll, we'll be here for, for a long, for many, many more years, man. And, uh, you know, so, you know, thanks for doing this. Um, yeah, no, absolutely, man. And thanks for, thanks for participating. Man. Yeah. Thanks for participating. And to your point, I'm sure, like I said, we'll, even though we're at home and, 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 you know, as you'll, you'll start to see, as we put some more material, more content out on the social media, uh, sites and whatnot, we do, we do have some stuff upcoming, got some new music that we're working on. We got some, some new video content that we're trying to get going for you guys and trying to keep a little bit busy during this kind of downtime for everyone. So since we're not out there, you know, able to kind of interact with the public, at least we can do some, um, some virtual, some virtual stuff for the <laughs> folks. Yes, sir. All right, cool. Yes, well, thank you for your time, Steve. We'll Thank talk you, to you brother. Next time, and uh, we'll see you guys next time on the Latin Breed one-on-one -on -one series. All right. Take care, everybody.